Welcome back to Digital Wandering, and today I brought back the iBook Clamshell from 2000. And I wanted to show its new capabilities on the internet because there's some new tools that were created by a YouTuber named Action Retro. Uh, if you are not watching their channel, uh, you should definitely start watching it uh, because uh, he has great retro computing content. And I showed this um, computer a while back and I went through the different capabilities on the browser. So on the different browsers I have on here, I have uh, Casilla, iCab, Internet Explorer, and Netscape Communicator. We're gonna be dealing with Internet Explorer and Netscape Communicator today. And you can see how these uh, 20 year old browsers with these new tools how they function and we're trying to open up Netscape communicator let's try to do that again for some reason it is slow to open there we go and right away we get a security failure so you know these browsers as I showed previously cannot do much on the internet they can still do Google so we can show that again and then we'll just do a simple search here I'm hoping I'm not blocking anything because I'm looking at the computer and not the camera okay let's see so we're just looking up Apple and so you can still do Google searches uh, most of the basic search functions can still work here so you can search for websites I just clicked on apple.com you saw you see that we had the error message Where's the Wikipedia? And also, Wikipedia also gives us a security uh, message here as well. But you can still use Google Images. The problem being is that a lot of these image results, if you try to click on them, you won't be able to connect to the web page, which is hosting the image. And we have news here. Thankfully, this can still pick up Google News headlines, but again, if you try to click on a lot of these articles, uh, what it often does is it just uh, spends and spends and spends and never pulls up anything. Uh, so you can watch the headlines and things of, of that nature, but can't really read the articles. But with these tools from Action, Action uh, Retro, and I have them here on the... Uh, bookmark bar here we have frog find and 68 K news so that's a good transition we're on Google News now and 68 K news actually use Google News uh, it's actually powered by that essentially and what it does is it pulls uh, the headlines from Google News but it also makes the articles accessible to an old browser such as this. And one thing I do wanted to show here is about this Internet Explorer that we're using. This is Internet Explorer from uh, Macintosh Edition 5 from 2000. So this is going on 21 years old. And, but using 68K News, you can get articles here. So again, these are the headlines pulled from Google News. And let's just click on one of these. And you see how it pulls up very quickly the article and it also it pulls the images uh, which you can access through here article images so it brings life back to these old browsers when it comes to searching for news you can access it using the 68k news uh, web page created by action Re retro and I will put uh, links to the original action retro video in the description as well as links to these web pages and now also let's look at frog find so this one pulls articles from Google News frog find is a search engine and let's just go to Apple again here you will get that uh, security message here and you know previously I was not able to access apple.com 
Now with this, I can access Apple.com, but what what his tools do is it, it pulls or it pulls the web page and it removes all the things that uh, these old browsers cannot read. So it makes a simplified version of the web page. Uh, now with something like Apple, which is very visual, uh, you really need to get the full web page to get the entire fill of the website. So Apple is not a great example for this, even though you can pull it up. A good example though is Wikipedia. Let's see if we can find an, the Wikipedia page for Apple here. because that's very text-based. Come on, Apple Wikipedia. Did we already pass it here? Doesn't come up on the first page. Let's see if we can put Apple Wikipedia here so we can pull up the Wikipedia page for Apple. Here we go. And so it connects to the web, frog find. It connects to the Wikipedia pages, and then it translates it to a page that can be read by this old browser. One of the great things about this tool is it doesn't require any advanced skills. All you have to do is, as you would normally do for a web page, enter in the search. Uh, into the search field, the URL, and then it will do all the rest for you. So as you saw previously with this uh, web browser, Wikipedia wasn't accessible, but using FrogFind, you can pull up the page and have access to uh, the images. And this is a big page, so it's still loading here. But this is an excellent tool which allows you to uh, access modern web pages on a browser that's 21 years old. Okay, there we go. So it just finished loading. And let's just look at some of the images that we have here. And this is an, such an excellent tool, uh, but the idea behind it is so simple. It's amazing that these tools are not just standard, which will allow these old browsers to still have functionality. And it's, it's excellent that someone like Action Retro uh, took the time to create something like this. Tools like this should be actually even built into the browsers. It gives them additional life uh, beyond their normal support cycle. Okay, so this is uh, Internet Explorer. We also have Netscape uh, Communicator. So let's just look at that here. And I showed this uh, browser previously. And although this one is from 2001, Netscape Communi Communicator 4.7, uh, it seems to be even less capable than Internet Explorer To do things and in the previous video I showed how poorly it can still use Google uh, but unfortunately it's extremely uh, hard it has a real difficulty of rendering pages so it can you can do Google searches but the page results um, are formatted terribly so it's not as it doesn't even work as good as Internet Explorer, even though it's a year younger. One thing I like about this one, it seems to be faster. Netscape Communicator seems to be faster uh, than Internet Explorer for using these tools, 68K News and, um, and FrogFind. Uh, as you see here, it says he used, uh, he actually tested this as far back as Netscape 1.1. Uh, for this so it can really so these are the oldest browsers that I have access to uh, but you can actually use these tools on even older browsers and it really launches the pages really fast uh, especially in Netscape Communicator uh, I found you can pull these pages up on a modern browser uh, but I don't know if it was just the time that I tried to uh, pull the pages up 
uh, but they were very slow to load. So I don't know if that's by design, if it's throttled in some way on a modern browser, uh, but it, it, it was really slow. Uh, which makes sense. No, on a modern browser, you don't need these tools because you can just you access the internet as you would normally do using Google, uh, Bing, or my favorite, uh, DuckDuckGo. Things that you don't have an option of using to, uh, you can't access modern web. And see how fast that it loaded here? It loaded, it might, it's, yeah, it loads a lot faster in Netscape Communicator. You see, it, it took a long time for this page to uh, load in Internet Explorer, but it loaded real fast here. So, yeah, I just wanted to show these tools. Uh, these are really excellent. If you like playing around with old computers, and one of the things that's really more frustrating is that they can't really do much online, uh, with these tools, it brings back the functionality because this is how it was if you know if you weren't around in the 90s and on and you weren't on the internet maybe some of you may not have even been alive at that time this is what web surfing was this is before youtube before a lot of the multimedia it was basically surfing text-based web pages where it was just text and images that was what surfing the web was so not only does it bring uh, the ability to access modern web pages, but it's very nostalgic. So again, thanks to Action Retro. Uh, follow the links uh, that I'm going to uh, list in the description. Watch his videos. Uh, this is a, such an excellent tool. It's so, it's so fun. Uh, but thank you for watching. This is Digital Wandering signing off.